Welcome back, everybody, to this Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, this is for the GameCube version, as we have said before. And we are Draken Shadow, as well as being joined by the Andrea herself. So, last time, people might notice I'm on a different end of Hyrule Field, and that's just because when you open up the game, the game tends to save you in really weird areas. There's not really much you can do about it. No, usually when you're a kid, you always start in... Uh, you're where you started at the very beginning of the yeah. game. Yeah, you always start at, at Kokiri Village, so we just took ourselves out to Hyrule Field. Now, um, people might remember from the last couple of parts, uh, the exposition dump that was just placed upon our heads. Uh, basically, they were saying, here's a bunch of story! <laughs> uh, if people can't remember our objective, it is actually that we need to go to... Kakariko Village, and uh, I guess our next target is going to be the Spiritual Stone of the Gorons. Uh, they hold the Spiritual Stone of Fire, so we are going to work with them. But before we do that, we are uh, going to wait for daytime to come to pass, because I don't like going into town at night. Why not? Uh, there's nothing to do in it. What a horrible night to have a curse. Da 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 I shall shoot the moon! Oh, I know. That's what makes it go crazy and smash into Earth in the next game. Yeah, and it had a face, too. Well, you're here to hear first, guys. Apparently Majora's Mask got it wrong. There was not a curse. Apparently Link caused it. Of course it caused it, because he had to shoot at the moon. So the moon was just pissed. <clears throat> One of these days, Link. Bang! Zoom! Straight to the moon. All right, there we go. So now our next uh, target is going to be Kakariko Village, which is actually where Impa was raised. Or Impa. Or in other words, very, right, very white voice. Because that's what I gave her. <laughs> Oh, look, it's so pretty in all of its polygonal glory. <laughs> I will be the first to admit, Ocarina of Time does look a little dated as of right now. You know, we are in the eighth generation of consoles. This, came th this thing came out during the fourth generation, which would be N64. And sure, we got remake upon remake, and I really wish we could have gotten the 3DS version to work. Because then you guys would be able to deal with up updated sprites. Okay, so there actually isn't a whole lot to do in Kakariko Village right now. However, we have kind of an alternate goal that we need to take care of. Since we're going up to a place that's dealing with fire, is it necessarily the best thing to walk in with a wood shield? No. No, no. It's not. no. Which, in, in that case, it's probably recommended that you get a different shield. Uh, and I actually know a little bit of a loophole, so you don't have to pay for it. Because if you have to pay for it, you have to pay through the freaking nose. And it just so happens to be in this graveyard, except this little boy. I don't want him to see what we're doing. Do you want to yeah. give voice to that, Alex? <laughs> I, uh, it's don't right. call don't cause trouble I'll tell dumpy all right so we gotta wait until this kid's off doing something else otherwise we'll just keep on getting don't cause trouble I'll tell dumpy dumpy doesn't give a crap kid ah shut up shut up kid well he'll he probably has to be way far away. I think he has to be behind the fence so that he doesn't see me. It's interesting that he can you can do that without him no noticing. You know what? We're going to take care of another quest because this would actually solve that problem. All right. So this big one this big tomb right here. This is, this is kind of taking up a lot of the a lot of the real estate here. The Royal Family's Tomb. Oh, that's nice and clear. And Oh, look, there's a Triforce underneath. I'm kind of spoiling this right here and, and now, too. 
<clears throat> at least Alex, because Andrea will, will get the reference here. But whenever you see a Triforce in the game, there's usually one action that you can provide, which is Zelda's song, or Zelda's lullaby, the one that we learned. Because it's the song of the royal family. Mm -hmm. And so whenever you do that, then magic begins to happen. And it rains more. No. Yep, we cause more rain. Because we're dicks like that. Oh no, what's happening? We just released Rita Repulsa! Oh no, we just opened up the royal family too. What horrible sequence. Wow, I went into Elmer Fudd for a second there. What horrible sequence await in the royal family tomb. Okay, so this is the royal family's tomb. And here comes a favorite villain of this game. And by favorite, I am very sarcastic. Keys. Or bats, basically. What's that? A bat? Keys. No, it's keys. Because that makes sense, right? <laughs> so what are the keys called? Bats? Yes, they're called bat keys. That's All just right. interesting where they came up with that name. Uh, it's it's Lord Miyamoto. D don't don't question it. Yes, I am a horrible aim unless I have Z targeting. I am the first to admit it. I'm just showing you guys right now. The bow is actually easier to aim. Oh, there we go. So now we can go deeper into the royal family tomb. Oh, and this just looks cute. Oh, and look what our favorite friends are here, too. Our favorite friends, the Redead. Uh, basically a zombie, Alex. So, and the worst part is, is that if you get really close to them, they can freeze you in place. Oh, but it's all right, because now we're at the end, and oh, look at this. This is kind of dark looking. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set. A newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun. Give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the Composer Brothers. I wonder if that's a reference to the Mario Brothers? No, not really, but it works. Keep the sun's song in your heart. So let's go ahead and recite this because... I wonder what this is going to do. You'll actually find this very helpful, Alex, because now the day-night cycle bows to our way. Yay! It's so content. You've learned the sun's song. Restless souls wander where they don't belong. Bring them calm with the sun's song. So with this song, this is actually kind of a counter to undead. It will freeze them in place. Plus, like I said, now the day-night cycle, it, it bows to our whim. Because when we play it out in Hyrule Field, it will... Uh, you can change it from night to day, depending on what you need. Basically, it moves the cycle 12 hours ahead. So, now that we have this... And now our, all our little zombie friends are frozen in place and can't do anything against us. Although at some point we might actually show what the Redead can do. Because as a kid, when you're playing this game for the first time, that was a freaky concept. Okay, so now that it is nighttime, we don't have to worry about Dampe's number one fan. In fact, that is Dampe. And he doesn't give a crap if you move his tombstones. Funny how he doesn't care, but the kid does. Because the kid's obnoxious. And so with this... Oh, look, another little chest. Let's kick it open. 
And yay, we have a Hylian shield, which is way too big for our kid self. In fact, as you see, this is actually kind of cool to watch. So he actually can't use it on his hand, uh, on his arm. It is too big for him. Oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, well, yeah, save. <coughs> um, so basically, like, we're, we're, when we guarded before we actually held the shield up, we actually now duck because we can't hold the shield on our arm. But that's all right, because this is actually one of the better shields to use for quite a while in this game. And we didn't pay a rupee for it. Very nice. Free stuff, I approve. Yes, yes, we do. And actually, we're going to have to keep that tomb in mind later, because that's a really good place to go get fairies. Uh, when, when eventually we get bottles. And around this time, in the Kakaruku village, you get lots of um, gold sculptulas around here. Yes, if you want to collect such things. Do they do anything? Not really. They... Well, they give you rewards for how many you collect in the game. And the rewards are basically you can earn more rupees in your wallet, you can earn more arrows for your be or for your quiver, or seeds for your slingshot. Well, don't you get a big wallet f for one the of them? The road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there? Hey, oh, I see. You're just a kid and you can't read yet. Ha 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 ha. I love the voice you gave him because that's kind of appropriate. All right, so this is actually one of the reasons why we need Zelda's letter. So if we use this on him... Oh, this is... This is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm, okay. This is Link. Oh, I'm sorry. That That's Andrea, so... Okay. This is Link. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. <laughs> what kind of funny game has our princess <coughs> come up with now? Okay, okay, all right. We can go now. Let's be careful, Mr. Hero. <laughs> Alright, so Ugh, basically a... he is mocking the crap out of us. Yeah, what a dick. Yeah, yeah, he is kind of a dick. By the way, Mr. Hero, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It's an active volcano after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell shields you need there. Which is the Hylian shield. Well, if I sent you, they should give you a special discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it just because of a great tip. Just gave it to... I... I just gave it to you. I'm asking. Have you seen... Have you been to the Mr. Happy Mask Shop? That just opened in Hyrule Castle Town Market. Everyone's talking about it. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have time to go there. So could you go around and get the mask for me next time you're in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay, but... Well, I have no choice. This is my job. Ah. Alright, there we go. He's, he's done talking. So, the Happy Mask Shop is actually kind of a prelude to Majora's Mask. Uh, also, the fact if... People have played Link's Awakening. There's actually kind of a fetch quest that you can do as, as bonus content. The Happy Mask Shop kind of qualifies as this in, in this game, if I remember correctly. But we're not going to worry about that right now because we're off to the Death Mountain Trail. Which is kind of quiet now because it's nighttime. I wanted my... Okay, can we... Now, just take a wild guess as to what this is called, Alex. It would be a tech type. Oh, it's a tech type. Yeah, because that makes sense. It's a spider. Yeah. It's a giant spider. <laughs> it's a spider, man. What's that? A spider? A tech type. Exactly. Only only it has only four legs. Ah! I always try to get the jump attack on these guys because it can go to the one shot. And I never get the timing right. Oh, this is the one that can actually get you killed if you forgot about it. There we go. Give me your ruby. I'm sorry, rupee. 
because somebody's going to complain about that. Up the trail we go, up the trail we go, and I don't like walking because running stone or rolling stone. Oh, it's a suck ass. It is indeed. So we actually need to go down this way. If you go up the other way, you can go to the top of Death Mountain. But we actually need to go meet with the Gorons. Which are down this way. Woohoo! Oh, crap. What? I think I actually forgot something. So... Yes, I did. I can't even believe I forgot it, but I did. So, actually, really quick. So, people are going to see a magic cut right here. Okay, so we're back. Uh, I actually forgot to go and get something from here that I am going to need with the Gorons. So, there actually is a little side quest that you can do when you come back to Kokiri Forest. Which is, you can track down Saria. She's actually in a very unique place, which will come into play later. But, we actually need to find her. And I thought you wanted to run away from her. I don't want to run away from her. I like Saria. Hey! Hey, listen! So, welcome to this game's version of The Lost Woods. Which is actually really handy because it offers a bunch of shortcuts to various areas. Oh, it's your it's your friend Bob, Alex. Hey, over here, Link. Good to see you again. Listen to this, Hoot Hoot. After going through the Lost Woods, you'll come upon the Sacred Forest Meadow. This is a sacred place where few people have ever walked. Shh, what's that? I can hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for that tune. Who? You want to hear what I said again? No! <laughs> if you're courageous, you'll make it through the forest just fine. Just follow your ears and listen to the sound coming from the forest. Hoot hoot. And then follow your nose. Wherever it goes. Yeah, this guy comes up all the time. So, now, oh, I, I literally got turned around. So, we're going to go a little bit further. Basically, what he's saying is if you don't take the right way, you actually end up at the beginning. You get lost in the Lost Woods. And so, the way that you don't get lost is you... You have to listen carefully. Yeah, you have to pay attention to the song. Where it's coming in the loudest is where you're supposed to be going. And I think it's just... Who's that girl? Who's that girl? <laughs> Makes me think of... Um, I think it's Chugger Conroy's version. <laughs> Who's that girl? Who's that girl? Yeah, see, that's what happens if you get lost in the Lost Woods, is that you end up back out in Kokiri Forest. So, it is right... Uh, but the other cool part about this, Alex, is that once you get certain items, you actually can get shortcuts via the, sh the Lost Woods to other areas. All right. Um, including the Land of the Gorons. Unfortunately, we don't have the tool necessary to unlock Wrong it, way. but uh, we can eventually get that and also the other areas we need to go to as a kid. So, let me see if I can do this right this time. <laughs> you gotta admit, the song's kind of upbeat. Catchy as hell. <laughs> and Andrew is just looking at us going, really? Are you just going to sit there and sing it the entire time? Next time on Karaoke, Dragon Shadow. Exactly. So I think it's left, and then we go forward. Well, I guess that would be Dragon Shadow Karaoke. It would be indeed. Wrong way. Ah, I'm just kidding. Sacred Forest Meadow. <laughs> All right, and here... Oh, look, a werewolf enemy. No, he can't, apparently, he track out. This enemy is actually really easy. I'm not going to lie. You just wait for him to come up and slash you, and you get a free hit. I hit you in the butt. And there you go. Here's a sword and shield. Go hit stuff. Exactly. Okay, and 
from here on, we're actually going to have a little bit of an issue. Mainly because of these guys. We actually, with the Hylian Shield, cannot dodge their attacks anymore. Because we don't aim low enough for it to work. That's alright, because we are almost out of here. Just uh, wait till you get here later on. Believe me. Oh, yeah. That's... It's gonna be a nightmare. Yes, we will have to come back here later, and it will not be fun, but that's alright. Because we are actually almost near the end. And this part's not too hard, because you can see the nuts coming at you. Mm, I said nuts. <laughs> you said nuts. And look at this. What What is this area? This is kind of a weird enclosure in a maze. And there's Saria! We, we don't run away from... What made you think we run away from Saria? We like Saria. We just have a bigger destiny. <coughs> uh, I'm trying to remember who had Saria's voice. I can't remember either. Uh, take it, Andrea. I think I did it. Yeah. I've been waiting for you, Link. This is the Sacred Forest Meadow. It's my secret place, I feel. This place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. If you play the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits of the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? No, we don't want it. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, try to follow along with the melody I will play. Are you ready? Yes, we've literally been listening to the song the entire time. Makes sense. Great, great. Please don't forget the song, do you promise? When you want to hear my voice, play Saria's song. You can talk with me anytime. And I mean anytime. What? What What was that? <laughs> and I mean anytime? Anytime. Confirmed. Uh, apparently, Link is involved in a love triangle. As a kid, no less. Well, I mean, Zelda 2. We'll, we'll get to that eventually, but... Uh, oh, Zelda 2, he's not going to boy Link anymore. Zelda 2, he's he's actually kind of, He's actually a wee bit of a whore. <laughs> I have no problem saying that, because when we get there, you'll find out why. <laughs> Poor Link always gets um, the girls chasing after him. Because we all know in that secret house, he's learning the camp for us. And I think down the... You had to say it that way, Alex! <laughs> oh. And I think in that little square area, there's a secret gr grotto you can go in. Yeah, which uh, houses, I think, a gold skull too, though. I thought it also ha was a fairy town. That could be that, too. Because I think that's... Uh-oh, it's Bob! Did you learn an, an ocarina song from Saria? That melody seems to have some mysterious power. There may be some other mysterious sounds like that you can hear in Hyrule. If you hold the ocarina with C, when the melody is necessary, a musical staff will appear. I'd recommend that you play a song you know. Also, I suggest that you play even when the score is not displayed. Just like this. <laughs> Do you want to hear what I said again? No! Please no! Melodies you have learned will be recorded in the quest status subscreen. What are these things? I do not know. I'm just supposed to say it for some reason. <laughs> yes, yes. Stop saying it! Alright. Yes, you can kind of tell Bob it, Bob the Owl is, uh is a little bit of a reference to a tutorial. Oh. And also, uh, one thing I want to show off with Saria's song really quick is the fact that if you use it... This is also kind of a little hint tutorial in the game. You want to talk to Saria, right? Yeah, Navi's not happy about this love triangle. <laughs> and mainly because she's not involved. Go ahead and take it, Andrew. Link! 
This is Saria. Can you hear me? No, our Skype connection's horrible. The forest is connected to many places. If you can hear my song, you must speak somewhere that is connected to the forest. Do you want to talk to Saria again? No. All right. We like Saria and all, but uh, this was getting kind of old. So... Now that we have Saria's song, I hate to tell you this, Alex, but there's one more song we need to get on the way, and then and then we're done with the errands. And we can we can forward move forward with plot. But it's all right because you're gonna like this reference because it's back to the Mario Brothers. But now that we have the Sun song, we don't have to worry about you know things like time. 